Look what Jay just pulled out. That is freaking cool. The label is still on it. Hey guys, guess where we are? Cobalt. Woo. Okay, guys, we got. Uh, we're. we're I don't know. If, I don't know what videos are going to be up. What? We're somewhere. We're digging. Okay, because these videos, I don't know when they're going to be up. But we're. Uh, we're at an old 1900s dump. We've got some cool balls in the hole. We possibly might have a quart, whole quart, starting off the video. Hopefully. That's going to be great. Yeah, hopefully. So we'll uh, show you guys what we have. I'm pretty sure there's a cobalt ball down there too as well. So uh, we'll turn around and found get this a few started. Cool things already. Yeah, we found a few. Yeah, we got to show the, some surface stuff. Not surface stuff, but like pretty much on the surface that we found. So uh, we'll get in the hole and show you guys what we found, our finding, not found yet. And uh, this is hopefully gonna be really cool, so we're excited. Stay tuned. So everyone, just starting off, we have this little hole here. It's about, what, three feet, four feet deep so far. Uh, we've pulled out this lovely, lovely, lovely color. It's the uh, Northrop and Lyman, or Lehman and Company, Toronto, Ontario, just an electric oil. Uh, but it is a lovely applied top tool tip to it, so sweet find. Uh, we also got this king thing came out here. Absolutely lovely color to this guy. Just a pickle jar. It's an, again an applied top. Lovely pickle jar. Uh, we got this one in the side here that fell out. Shoe polish jar, but again, look at that color. That is just an amazing color to it. Lovely bottle. Uh, we have this one here, which is. It, oh, wow, it's a what is bottle. that? It is a cobalt bottle, yeah. It is a. Uh, aerated water. Yeah, it's an aerated water. Wow. Cobalt Ontario. Awesome. That's a nice that one. That is a nice one. Not chipped, no. That's a lovely color too as well. And I want to show this really quick. I can't get it out yet, but I think that's a quart bottle right there. So we're going to have to get that out. I'm going to pass the camera off to Jay and he's going to show you guys what uh, what he found. So slowly transition here. Go show him what you found. All right. So we got uh, just some common ones. Uh, really nice purple jar. It still had uh, the uh, metal sealer on it. Uh, pulled out, no idea how to pronounce it, uh, syrup, um, French, I don't know, it's a French syrup name. Syrup of Achoo. <laughs> syrup of Achoo, as Adam said. <laughs> really nice aqua though, so keeping that. And also, I believe this is like a perfume bottle, but uh, Sealy Detroit. Really nice pictorial on it. So that's a keeper. And then in the hole here, I'm not sure if it's ready to be pulled out, but that looks like it is unembossed something so pick around a bit oh it feels full oh it's a gordon's dry gin oh nice yo look at the back of it look at the look at the embossing sweet yeah there's embossing on both sides nice. that and it's an applied top oh, too yeah. awesome that is a keeper for sure nice awesome <laughs> Definitely gonna be keeping that one. It's gonna be a sweet spot today. Oh yeah. So if more stuff like this comes out, hoping that quartz full. Got it ready to pull out yet? Just a whiskey bottle. So we're gonna hopefully get that ready. hopefully ready. get that quart out of there. Actually, you know what? Here, pass the camera. I might be able to get it out. It's gonna be one long, long clip, guys. Um. Oh boy. Uh, oh my. Okay, you guys see that? Holy jeez. Oh. There's no way. There's no way this is full. Oh my! What? There's no way! Holy jeez! Yo, man, it's a McDonald's! It's a McDonald's and Co. Court! Oh, no way! Are you joking me? Holy, we've been here what? I like to Half know. hour maybe? Like the tops? Oh my goodness! Look at that! McDonald's and Co. Cobalt! Holy jeez! Awesome! Awesome start, like a long five minute clip to begin with. I hope you guys stay to the end because God knows what we're gonna find. Sweet, sweet. See you guys on the next poll because this is awesome so far. So see you guys in a bit. A few more finds. We got uh, two purple bottles I'm gonna be keeping. And then we found this really nice aqua beer. It is plain, but nice aqua color. Probably be keeping that. Uh, we got right here, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna pull it anyways, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's a broken McDonald's, but I can, uh, I can make a nice cup out of that one. I can make a very nice cup out of that, so there's no cracks on the side. 
and cut it off just right above here, right above the lettering. Make a nice cup out of these. Um, we also have this one right here. It looks like a milk, but if it's milk, it's probably broken. No, it's not broken. Uh, don't know if it's color. Oh, uh, might be some on it actually. Uh, oh, wow, cool. Maybe it was a milk bottle. Uh, one pint. Uh, Lawrence, I can't really say what, see what that says. Good old handwriting, lovely. Uh, Lawrence, what does that say, Jay? What do you think? I have no idea. Laurentian, so it's- Laurentian, oh, it's water. I, wow, Lawrence, geez. So uh, it's like the- uh, I found uh, one of the last videos, a giant- Giant jug uh, like it, yeah, I see. Uh, that's cool. Yeah, he found, I don't know if that video is up, but he found, so this was water. This was uh, just water in here, one pint of water. Very neat, Laurentians. Awesome, cool, so water bottle. Uh, big L embossed on the bottom has a little little ding out of it looks like but that's that's cool And I don't think it's purple. No Very neat very neat. Okay. Uh, we're gonna keep going There's a big layer of metal down there. So that's what we're going after is uh, I don't think it's dug down there because all this uh, People in the 70s dug it and I think they were uh, they didn't want to deal with all that metal and good thing They didn't because we're finding a lot of cool stuff. So I'll catch you guys and more things come out Two more balls in our hole here. We're at a really annoying metal level. We keep, uh, I don't know if I have any, we keep pulling out those uh, metal barrel rings. My goodness, those are a pain. Um, we found uh, a cool stopper and a nice clay marble right there. Uh, we also found this one here. Lovely, lovely jar. British jar, probably pickles or something. Very nice. Uh, so down here, we have what looks to be a case gin right here. Hope the top hasn't gone off it. Uh, no, it's not. Nice. What color is it? Uh, it's a dark green. Very nice. Awesome. And it is a machine made. Machine made, sadly. But still, very nice bottle. Love these case gins. Okay, next. Way down here. I'm going to move some roots here so I don't hit the camera. We got this guy right here. You guys can see it. Um, it's probably just a wine or something. Oh, it's a beer, but I bet you it's just plain. Uh,. That's a taller one too. Yeah, it's a plain beer. Is it taller? Let's see. I don't know. It looks looks like it's taller. Yeah, it's slightly taller. Slightly taller. Weird. Okay. We're gonna keep going. Some cool stuff's coming out of that metal air. It's a pain to dig. Very big pain to dig, but uh, it's producing some cool stuff. So, catch you guys in a bit. So Adam's uh, digging away over here using a dump bucket. He's reusing a bucket that was thrown out. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to show this. Uh, check that out. It's was in this like kind of lid here, but it's actual, it's newspaper. Um, won't be able to salvage that. But I just thought that was really cool. And that's 100 year old newspaper right there. Uh, it's like really rough shape. Oh, that's really cool, wow. Need some service? <laughs> that is cool. And too bad there's no piece that has the date on it. It's probably in there somewhere. Oh wow, it just peels. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. Uh, the, oh, it's the Toronto something. Wow. That's cool. That came a long way. Huh. That's Blue. really cool. Wow. Huh. So we're gonna keep uh, digging around a bit. But uh, see what else comes. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna see. Let this dry out and see if we can uh, peel some of that away. So that'll be a project for later. After drying it out a bit, I actually managed to pull a date off of it. Check that out. Friday, May third, nineteen twelve. So this paper has been in the ground for 108 years. That is freaking cool. And it was wedged right in between these two, whatever they were. Uh, so that's what saved it. So, Adam, finding anything? Not yet. Not yet. So, <laughs> my hole is getting kind of deep down. I see, like, the top layer is dug, but the bottom, it seems like the bottom foot isn't. Um, it's all, that's obviously never been moved because uh, it'd be completely gone by now. Uh, so, we're going to keep going. We just kind of had a, a tunnel merge collapse here. <laughs> There's Jay right there. Uh, so, we have a few bottles showing, quite a few actually. Oh, well, this one just. Uh, See right there, it's coming straight out. So this here is another case gin. Awesome. Bit lighter of a color, there's the other one right there. So now we have two. Put that over there with the other one. Uh, we have one right here that came out 
by the collapse. Uh, oh, that's cool. Whoa, that's really neat. Look at the... Uh, that's neat. Yeah, it has like maple leaves on it. Huh. That's cool. Oh, wow, it's purple too. Ooh, that's going to be a cool bottle. I think it had a paper label right here, you could tell, but if you can see all the Canada maple leaves on it, that is cool. That's neat. That's very cool. Okay, that's that's a neat find. Um, now, we also have one right here. It looks like a salad dressing bottle. I bet you it is. It, oh, geez, I'm dropping it. It definitely is, though. Definitely is. Um, clean that off. Yeah, it's a uh, royal salad dressing. Very cool. Uh, Horton, what is that? I don't know. Manufacturing company, Detroit, Michigan now. And it might be, it's a purple as well. Very cool, very cool. Common, but very cool. I think it has the patent dates on the bottom. It's like 1880 or something like that. Uh, I can't really see it to make it out. Very light, yeah, I can see patent. Uh, I don't see the date, but they're patented 1880. They weren't made 1880, just the bottle was patented then. And I think we have another case gin right here. If, oh God, this one's really in there. Um, oh, it is another case gin. Holy jeez, these things are everywhere. Look at that, that's a nice one. Look at that weird dip in it right there. That's that's weird. So that is three case gins now, awesome. So we got one, we got two, and we got three. Look at that, those are some nice colors. Awesome, 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 awesome. So we're gonna keep going. And uh, it seems like a lot of cool things are coming out. So fingers crossed for another quart or something. We got a cobalt ball showing right there. Now it looks like it's in the dug layer, so it could be broken. There's also a gin here or a wine, but if I pull that out, this whole thing's coming down. Uh, it's broken. So let's see if the top. What? How? Like, I don't understand people who dug in the 70s. Why didn't they take these? Why didn't they take any? This is all dug. Every part of this is dug, except for this bottom, like two feet. Look at that. Not chipped, nothing. They just left it. Interesting, okay. There's no way they could miss that. Yeah, Jay also found um, a disgusting, here, the Paso Dungeon is a bit, uh, I'm gonna crack it that is disgusting. It, it's a jar full of God knows what. Let's crack it Oh, open. geez, he's gonna smell it. Jay's definitely gonna smell it. He always smells, oh, don't, <laughs> why did you do that? Oh my goodness. That's not oil. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, well, have fun with that, Jay. Have fun with that down there. Um, I'll start digging this around. So yeah, um, we're pulling things that they missed, which is awesome, or they just left. So, sweet Ew. there's Okay, Jay's being disgusting beside behind me. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we're gonna oh, stop smelling it. That's oh, okay, he's gross. Well, we're gonna keep going, pulling out a lot of goodies today. So, um, we'll see what's down around here, around here. Jay's coughing behind me from it. Oh, there's something right here, actually. That's in the dug layer. Yeah, broken. Okay, so we're gonna keep going, see what more we can find. So guys, check this out. Look what Jay just pulled out. That is freaking cool. The label is still on it. What's it say? Do you see? I, I see think liquid. It's special something. Special white liquid dressing. I think. Wow. And it still has the cork in it. That is that is preserved so well. Now again, guys, we cannot save that label. Once it dries out, it is gone. It uh, flakes completely so it says, off. This dressing gives an even something something uh, something to all white something <laughs> a lot of somethings in there man that thing did a lot of somethings and oh my will goodness not injure the something but like that wow let's see I, I don't want to touch the label because again that's going to fall right off you cannot save that that is cool wow look at that that is super cool super super cool i had a picture oh no it's just uh, like a little decal on it oh wow that's a neat find those are really cool things to find from uh, what they actually had on it so Wow, okay, maybe we'll pull out more label things because uh, last time Jay was here, he also pulled out a partial label. Chow Very chow. new, yeah, he pulled out Chow Chow. I don't know if that video is up yet. I don't know what videos are gonna be up because we have a bunch of them we're making, so. Very neat, very neat. I checked the camera feed there and uh, we have a ton of footage, like 20 minutes, so I gotta cut some down. So we're gonna do our wrap up now. We're gonna start another video for you guys for next week. Uh, so we're gonna start off with, uh, this is the stuff I found, that awesome McDonald's and Company Court. Very lovely. Got the three case gins I found. Uh, these are a bunch of purples here. Um, got the salad dressing. This one here is that Laurentian water, very cool. Uh, we got the two cobalt bottles. We got the McDonald's and Company small one, and we got the cobalt aerated water, uh, small one as well. Uh, we got the cool jars. We got the awesome wine bottles. 
Uh, these are the broken ones. I'm going to try turning into glasses or something. Uh, we also got this uh, little electric oil. That's a calm bunny one. And they're really cool. Still very cool. Has all the maple leaves on it. Very neat bottle. Lovely purple to it as well. So that's most of the stuff I found. I'm going to pass the camera off to Jay. He's going to show you what he found today. There we go. Light pass. All right. So this is the stuff that I found. Uh, newspaper, I think, is actually kind of still pretty cool. Uh, I got the Gordon's Dry Gin. Uh, that syrup bottle. And Packard's Special Light Liquid Dressing. I think that is one of the coolest things as well. Really nice color to that. And just some more common stuff. I'll grab a bunch of these, they'll turn purple. Kind of already are purple. And Adam's... A mound boy. Adam's mound boy. <laughs> we, we call him the mound manager. Yes, the mound manager. <laughs> uh, just some whiskey bottles. Uh, more purples. A little white lid. Uh, but that's pretty much the gist of what we found today. Uh, I got a decent sized hole going. It's starting to collapse, but uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in the next video. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching and happy digging. yes, happy digging.